That's uh, yes. August 22nd? Yeah, or? first time I was here is August 22nd. How long were you here then? I was here for about eight hours. Just eight hours? Yeah, okay. we spent our time visiting and greeting folks and walking. So you walking knew you had everybody. to come back? Yeah. And uh, thanking all the visitors for their dedication. And uh, one of the biggest moments for me was I felt the ancestors while I was here. And how I know this because I had this uh, move moving experience personally for two days. Uh huh. And, uh, all I could do was tear up. Afterwards? Yes. When you went home? Yes. And I knew that that's how I knew that they were here with us and they still are and I was a part of that uh, whirlwind too on I believe it was on Tuesday afternoon I don't know if you heard about it but there was a whirlwind that uh, appeared in the middle of the circle oh wow the campfire really the and it went through the camp very slowly mm -hmm. and when it left the camp it was huge Wow. And when you look up, there's two eagles flying up in the air. Ooh, <laughs> that's, that's something. That's fact. That tells you that the uh, ancestors are with us. Okay. I heard there was some ceremony to mm -hmm. bring through some of the ancestors. Yep. Sure. And there's four sacred pipes here. Yes, there were several. Yeah. How about in terms of the water issue? <clears throat> What's going on? Well, uh, as far as I know, I, I have been working with the uh, legal department because I'm on a tribal council. Our legal department uh, has been uh, addressing some of the, our concerns. Does the pipeline go near you too? No, but we are uh, 70 miles uh, down the river, so we'll be just as affected as Standing you, Rock. You guys draw water ever. from the yes. river? Yes. And what's, what's the reservation? You <clears throat> Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. Okay. And you're tribal council? Yes, I'm on tribal council. You draw water from the from the Missouri. Yes. And uh, yeah, if uh, if it ever goes under the river, it's mm -hmm. we're all at the mercy of the Murphy's Law. Right. Yeah. Well, they're having what, a oil What spill. can go wrong will go wrong. They have an oil spill right now in Alabama. Yep. Through over 300,000 gallons. Everywhere, all over the country, there's yeah. a lot of oil spills yeah. under. Yeah. Under uh, Yellowstone, oh, yeah. that river there, in Wyoming, Montana. There's one that declared two counties uh, natural, or not natural, but uh, emergencies in those counties. And uh, several, about a dozen in the last two years that I know. Yeah. Been following a lot of it actually. So uh, we're doing what we can as, as our with our travel legal department to address some of those issues. I believe there's a meeting scheduled on Monday for the tribal leaders here with the uh, North Dakota Highway Patrol. Oh, really? Yes. So I think that's going to be a landmark meeting there. Hope to be there to address some of my concerns. What would they hope to accomplish? <clears throat> well, I think the first thing we need to do is continue coming back to the table. Because right now, it's just like everything is... They did this, they did that, right. back and forth. So, mm -hmm. so I think if we come together, maybe we can uh, make something of this. And I want them to honor the uh, Department of Justice's demand that they not, not encroach the river 20 miles east or west. Ah, uh, okay, right. Do you think they'll try to violate that? Oh, of course. Because that's a, it would cost, you know, tens if not hundreds of millions to divert it, right? Right. It'll cost them a lot more money, but it was their choice to proceed without the permit to go under, to tunnel under the river. Uh -huh. <clears throat> they don't have that permit yet. Oh, they don't? <laughs> and they're going without that permit, still building. Oh, so that's okay. at their, that's at their, that's so their what, fault. That's what I understood is that yeah. despite that, what is it, 20 feet, 20 miles? 20 miles. Any, yeah. But despite that order, yeah. they're still continuing to build as fast as they right. can toward yes. it, figuring yeah. when people go away in the yep. winter, mm -hmm. right. they'll just get it done. But we're not going away, we're staying yeah, here. No, in fact, that's are. one of the things that we're gonna be talking about on Monday is the permanent structure here. Oh. 
and I'll be helping plan Oh, you that. mean here? Yes. But I heard the Army Corps engineer actually owns this land. I believe they have already they, given us the permit to, to camp here. Yeah, until so, December. But what if they pull, they don't renew the permit? Then we could probably go right across the river there because yeah. that's travel land right over there. That's true. Yeah. The Cannonball River is the <laughs> reservation border on the north side. <laughs> well, I gotta get going. Uh, All right. Looking for some friends down there. Good meeting you, Raymond. Yeah, yes. same here. Thank you. You so guys much. take care. Wonderful. Hopefully, see you guys down.